not this place. You know where we are? In a flocking lagoon? How many times I gotta tell you people, I don't like water! Hey, I didn't land here, okay? Drax did. Drax is oh, possessed. So gross! Uh, uh, kidding me. Uh, but first, the worst. <laughs> Rock is a weakness. Fuck it. You all right? That's it. I hate water. I hate being wet. God, and I hate tonight. not getting paid. We're not here to get paid. We're here to save Drax. Guys, this is Lamentis, home of the priests of Pama. Poor religious nutjobs, great! They aren't nuts, they're pacifist exiles from- Pacifists, that's even worse. <laughs> you saw them on Nowhere? That's the last place I'd expect to see a priest, especially pacifists. <laughs> so how do you know this place? I came here after a job went bad. Tell me we ain't crossing above an ocean. Only part of an ocean. Uh, Don't fall, you won't get wet. Yeah? Well, how do you know Drax didn't fall? Well, even if he did, he knows how to swim. Unlike some people. <laughs> Quit worrying, Rocket. Anything happens, Gamora will jump in after you. I will? You will? Yes, because we're a team. And Gamora's the most sprightly. Ugh, I think I'd rather drown. We should sink on our plan for when. Found Drax. Where is she? Where is the Matriarch? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Put him down! Drax, buddy, just calm down. No, she called me here. Men are lost. Rocket, a little help here. Uh. <laughs> Oh, we have to fight him. Hi, guys. Oh, man, this. You... What? Oh, that. Lysa once taught me the art of striking one spot and many times. Or is it Omphad who teaches me later? Don't worry, Green Mini's fine. <clears throat> fine what are we doing here, Mantis? I told him to come. On nowhere. Oh, yeah. I saw time Spoke inside his mind. His ear and nowhere the lies before. that bind. I mean, Know what's that. a girl to do? Whisper a course correct, obviously. Shh. It's okay. Stay with me. Quiet in the dark. All right, what's going on here? Another one of your girlfriends, Quill? Oh, no. <laughs> Not in this time. Come on! The creepy cave's this way! The what now? The creepy cave! Where the darkest of our future paths will meet. Dark as in unknown, not as in bad. I mean, it might be bad. But no way can it be worse than the futures I did see, because those were definitely bad. Very bad. You don't want to know how bad. Can someone please translate her? I am Groot. The point is... Or was... Or... Which parts of the point have I made already? Uh, the creepy cave. Yes, that's right. Big strong heart carries so much sorrow inside. Go on, speaking to the in cave. all futures, that's he's sad. the one who turns. And in some, we save him. Here. And here we are, where the Kotati take fruit. So, just to be clear. There's a timeline where me and you... Peter, focus. 
Right. Uh, what's a Katadi? I am. Uh, plant people like Groot, but uh, lame. The Kochadi are a highly evolved, highly sacred race of pacifist beings who grace us with their meditative powers. They also guard the secrets of the ancient cave. Can they temporarily unguard it? Oh no, they take this duty quite seriously. Our only hope of entering is to appeal to their infinite wisdom. <gasps> All right, so I'm waiting. What are we looking for in here? She doesn't know. Something that's gonna help Drax. We're all just taking the word of the space case. She's not a space... Ooh, spooky! Spooky is right. Uh, more like deadly. Are we sure about this? Nope. Maybe Drax just needs to sleep it off. I mean, he seems fine. Ish. My telepathic control won't last, little fuzzy. Only Green Meanie's friends ever help him. Watch out! Double floor! Whew! Hollis didn't sense that one in time. Everyone just remember we're here for Drax. Though, it would be easier if we had some idea of what we're looking for. Oh, for sure. It's always easier when you know things. Like, no, no. But you do. Not yet. I'm not frozen. Oh, I thought it was frozen for water. Seem that bad. Seems deadly and cold and wet. Come on, Rocket. A little water's not gonna hurt you. Death by drowning is actually quite common throughout Little Fuzzy's alternate future. I have heard so many of his panic final gasps. Okay, let's not tell Little Fuzzy that. Too late. I heard. It's here. Right? Go behind there. Ooh, yeah, that's okay. You feel like tubes are burnt? Ha! <laughs> nice! Whatever you found in there, Quill, well, pretty sure it ain't pretty... Ooh, for Africa, Gamora. Uh, five horsemen of the apocalypse. Ooh, my gosh, looks... Look. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, she look ultra, uh, scary badass. No, I'll apply it. See how it goes. Get his more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the priests never talk much about these caves. Oh, they wouldn't. Way too dangerous down here. I'm sure it'll get drier from here on out. Oh my god! Giddy up! Crap! That was kind of close. That one sometimes gets the more out. I doubt it. <clears throat> You're sure we're headed the right way, Mantis? I think so. Okay, well, it's too wide to jump here. We'll need to look around, find another way. Mantis, any chance Drax can... Green Meanie cannot be burdened. It takes all my mental fortitude to keep him enmeshed in lies. One misstep, and I lose him, and then he kills us all. Again. I spotted a little mousy hole here. Any ideas, Gamora? Only one. I don't think he can help us right now. Nope. Draxy Waxy's under my spell. What do you think, Rocket? I think you need someone big and strong and green to knock it down. Oh, no. I can't make Green Meanie do that. Groot, maybe if we all push together... I am Groot. He says... He says it would need Green Meanie's help, but Green Meanie can't help. Until you help him. Okay, team. Three 
clear we can't rely on Drax. Let's take a look through here. Maybe there's another way to cross. This place reminds me of the quarantine zone and all the wrong ways. Maybe falling apart just like it, too. Something's making the ground vibrate. I don't feel anything. All right, Gamora, let's get up here. Why don't I just blast some of these rocks? Oh, no! no. I don't trust them not to kill us. What's your reason? I have seen so many futures where a little fuzzy dies in this cave. Rocket, you feeling lucky? I got this. Rocket, just stay to the side and try not to die. Times Drax has done something for us. Name one time. Remember when he saved our butts in that mining ship? Scoff, he saved your butt. He dragged a lot of heavy things around and thrown rocks. Seems to love throwing rocks. Throwing rocks is a proud Katafian custom. <clears throat> uh, this is a lot of trouble to go to for a freaking colleague. Tell us how you really feel. Drax has definitely been there for us before. Like on Seknarf. First time we got jumped by that tiger with the squid face. Who? Oh, Stumpy? And the second time we got jumped by Stumpy. Uh, Mantis? Should we be worried about this fog? things living on this planet. Maybe they weren't native. My face throws ahead. Got a large enemy. Yes. Yeah. To Seknar? And this is where Hellbender first got them? Or maybe Hellbender's here, tracking us across the ends of the galaxy, because she wants us dead. Lady H has probably moved on by now. She literally just sent people to kill us. We bludgeoned her favorite monster, Quill. In no timeline does she ever forget. Okay, okay. So negative. Water, fog, and monsters. What's the forking deal with this place? There has always been a great power here. The priests tell tales of those who were here before them, and what wonderful things they could do. I don't remember hearing anything about that. You weren't ready to listen last time you were here. <laughs> Oh, no, Sir Groot, there's no such thing as the Kotadi root. Why were you here again, Gamora? Oh, I know the answer. It's the same across all timelines. I told you, I was here to recuperate. I, I was... What the fuck? There's two of them. Two of what? Mantis, do these things have anything to do with what we're looking for? In conclusion, I want to talk about... But I'm thinking... Talk about what? What do you think, Quill? You best friends? Yeah, maybe not. Careful! Rocket! 
safety's off! Looks like his defenses are down! Here's our chance! Something we have to avoid. Mantis? Over here. All right. I like Drax as much as the next guy, but I am officially sick of this stupid cape. I Who? Bug Lady? She couldn't guide her way out of a bathroom. Are you the rock face we're looking for? Not sure if I wanted to answer or not. Whatever gets us out of here. We'll each need to face our fears. Some here, some not. But facing them is most important. You know, running is sometimes good too. For you, yes, Star Guy. But only until it isn't. You'll see that soon enough. No, wait, you should know that already. Don't you remember your dreams? How do you know about that? Dano, I just do. You, uh, see something out there, Mantis? So many things, too many things. Shadows of a civilization that lived here once before? Forlorn faces that can see like me, horrors yet to come? And other shadows, too. Ours? Not ours? A figure that's watching us now. Or was watching us then? I see rocks and, uh, crystal things. A statue that looks like a face and more rocks. I like yours better. I see something else. I see... Friends, willing to die for another friend. Yeah, well, I'm hoping it doesn't come to that. Me too, Star Guy. Me too. Yeah, Kayla can't jump that die, so. What about the what's another way? Green Meanie's lost in an ocean of lies. We need to bring him ashore. You sure that's the right way, Peter? I'm sure that it's not, but let's not tell Star Guy. He needs to learn for himself. I can hear you! Even better! Ah, there's that feeling again. The fur on the back of my neck is sticking up. I feel it too, like a pair of eyes watching you. Let me hear those three words, Groot. Wow, at least be polite about it. Rocket, think you can crawl in there? For what? So I can get eaten by whatever lives inside? Stone faces. Whatever we're looking for is beyond or beneath or behind one of the faces. What do you say, Rocket? I bet you can find us a way back there. Fine. Whatever. Found another way. <coughs> oh, smells like rotten spike eggs in here. Okay. Setting the charge. Stand back! I don't think this is the one where he kills us. Alright, find another way. What's this? Almost jump into the water if it made the creepy crawly feeling go away. Hey, 
Hey, group, buddy. Think you could lift this? Crystals are kind of pretty. Eh, I've seen better formations. These look like regular silicates. Oh, there's nothing regular about the way they resonate, little fuzzy. Then they might actually be worth a few units. To the right buyer, of course. Another outfit box. What was it for? That's what I got from Gamora. Uh, pretty awesome, in it? I guess I'll have to pick you for find anything, Rex. Peter? Nothing in there that could save Drax. Is there another face somewhere, Mantis? Oh, Rock. Mantis? Huh? A uh, hero of Half World. Back when we were stuck in our pens of ha on Half World, I used to claim, claim the other animal by making up rebellion stories, but I'm taking down the priest and the Drax. Okay, who may not that be like me? Me was a dashing suit, smash buckler wearing. Bright green and a killer smirk. Wish I could have been that guy for them. Let's give it a go. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. This cave is multifaceted. Get it? Okay, new out of rockets. Oh. <laughs> tell you about this place mantis did they happen to mention the part where it's super dangerous and stupid to enter oh yes it's very dangerous ancient even an ancient danger or what still is something Obviously, Drac could throw that, but he can't do it right now. What's up with him? Damn, where am I supposed to go? We're deeper in the cavern? Why is dead?
think I'm gonna get that in. Besides here. Get some all the way. Down. Total dead end. We need to get on those crystals, Groot. Just let Quill get out there first. I don't want you falling. Ooh, definitely remembering something now, I think. We need to be careful here. I think what you're seeing is some version of me pushing you off a cliff. Oh, <laughs> little fuzzy. Your volatility is surprisingly consistent through all versions of time and space. You're like my angry little through line. Mantis, back in nowhere, did you know what the church was gonna do? I don't know. I see so many different things at the same time, it's sometimes hard to know where I am. Do they try to take over the galaxy in all realities? Not all, but most. Sometimes it's so noisy like a bajillion ships taking off at the same time. Finally, the face of a thousand lives, I think. Is it gonna help us save Drax? It tries to keep us from saving him. We seek something behind the face, beyond the lies. You want me to blow it up? That shouldn't be our answer to everything. Whoop! Here goes Nuke! Scott! Watch out, everybody! Uh, thanks. You don't usually make it. The Kotati mentioned the faces in the dark before, but I always thought it was metaphorical. Bug Lady is absolutely oh, you, bonkers. Like slap steps on by. Of course I'm angry. I'm what? Wandering around a cave that's falling apart, looking for Flark knows what. Can you get us through here, Gamora? Flark, I'm going in. <gasps> You mustn't! You don't want me to cut the thing? Wait, no, not you! Something bad is about to happen! Oh, oh that's it! I'm going in! Fuck it! Blow up this statue, save Drax, and get out of here! Yes, but... Time to start trusting our instincts, Quill! Just 
blow everything up until everything's all right. Mm. Whoa! Woo. Close one. You can say that again. Oh, I will. Uh, Mantis. Where's the matriarch? This is the one where I fail. We're trying to help you! It's okay. The one where I fail is the one where you don't. Okay, that's new. Shh. Got it. Stay with me. Hey, guys! Check it out! I'm totally not dead! Ugh. What? You almost killed all of us! No more blowing things up, Rocket! Ever! You're gonna regret saying that. Are you smart, Toy? Why didn't I know that? Maybe you aren't always... Or I forgot. What? Those guns do something again, Quill? He saved Drax after you almost killed us all! How would a gun do that? Show him! Star Guy! Quick one shot. I'm telling you, Quill. You should let me take those guns apart. Figure out how they tick. I swear you'll get them back. Mostly intact. I'm not letting you take apart my guns. You never let me have any fun. Rocket, upgrade this. Rocket, do this. Rocket, don't do that. And that's how it's done. Eh, me exploding stuff is still better. It's really not. Next time we're in a huge fight, you're gonna beg me to blow stuff up. Beg me. Next time we're in a huge fight, I'll make sure to remember that. More of that weird fog. Be glad you ain't this close to the ground. Oh, little Fuzzy never dies from gas in here. Just falling, crushing, Chitauri, water... Wait, hang on. Did you say Chitauri? Oh, I did, didn't I? Such a funny sounding word. Chitauri. <laughs> I wish I could pull enemies to bot into movie range. It's very effective against hard to reach opponents. This is possible! I thought I'd never see these markers again! I hoped I never would! Hit him down, crew! This is opening up some old wounds! Watch it, Spike! Let's see 
Forthright. You okay, Mantis? Oh, hey, Gamora, you look less depressed. Wait, we went over that already, didn't we? Yeah, we did. That thing of yours is still bothering you, though, right? What thing? I'm fine. Let's just focus on helping Drax. <laughs> He's gonna be upset he didn't get to fight all those things. Uh, I don't think that any of those were real. Not really real, anyway. Their attacks felt real enough. Maybe they were real. There's... Something down here that's affecting my vision. I don't think it was ever that clear. Just how far down does this cave go? Legends say the entire planet is hollow! Heads up! More of them rock monsters. I don't think they're looking to make a man squill. Oh, maybe I can help. Why can't I speak their language? Blow away, Rocket! Big guy is not back! Now's our chick, drop him up! Words. How come there's no fog around these guys? Maybe they know something we don't! What do I say? Gamora! Cut that! Rocket! Move them! Hey! Don't suppose you guys 
guys know how to heal our bodies. I thought they were supposed to sneak up on us. Stop. 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 We went over that already, didn't we? Yeah, we did. That thing of yours is still bothering you. Oh, maybe I just haven't learned it yet. I think I picked up the word for kill. Or the grunt, anyway. The fog doesn't seem to bother you know, whatever these them, giant um, things are. It didn't, uh, like, let me advance, so I had to, to uh, uh, load up the save game, uh, some play some second time, but now it's all good. I know now why I we're could, doing uh, move it, on. and don't think Drax uh, won't hear all could, about it either. Oh, is this the one where little Fuzzy What's does this? something heroic? Hard to say. I think it's pretty easy to say. You, most of all, should be willing to Ooh, give says. someone another chance. What's here? All right, let's see. Are you sure that's the right way, Peter? I'm sure that it's not, but let's not tell Star Guy. He needs to learn for himself. I can hear you! Even better! <laughs> I'll have to tell the priests about the big baddies down here. Once we cure Drax, maybe we could capture a couple. What the flark for? I don't know. Hellbender as a peace offering? Drax, we should make up a story about how we battled some epic, one-of-a-kind monster. Oh, you won't have to make that up. I'm just gonna uh, assume you got your timelines crossed again. Let's hear. Oh, I'm on top. Uh... Don't make no sense. What doesn't? How come everything attacking us don't attack each other? This looks like something Gamora could use. Alright, uh, what's for nothing? Oh, I remember a story! Lysa once spent 40 revolutions. 
evolutions by the cave entrance all by himself. Except for, you know, the Kotati, but they're not known for their conversation. What for? I think it was because he didn't care for his house guests, but didn't want to be rude and tell them to leave. Um, guys. I know, little fuzzy. And it is the only way forward. What's happening? He sees what lies ahead, and I see what lies behind. What lies ahead? Uh-uh. No way. No flarkin' way. Doesn't seem that wet. Like, medium wet. I ain't walking through a flarkin' monsoon! Maybe there's a way to use those plants that divert the water. We're a team. We'll figure it out. Are we seriously gonna let this keep us from saving tracks? Sure! You save him while I drown! How does it even grow down here? I don't know. Those big leaves could be useful. Like a dam. Dam what? No, it's... Never mind. Yes! It's just a plant, plant. Not a you. We ain't got much choice. What do you think, Rocket? Doesn't seem that bad. Translation. Rocket don't... Rocket don't like wet. We get it. It's a scary dark cave. We're all probably gonna encounter things we don't like. True. But nothing as much as Little Fuzzy doesn't like getting wet. Never underestimate someone's deeply rooted fear, Sir Fry. Especially when you do not understand the root. up there. Get eyes on the problem. The problem is that Rocky needs to suck it up. Yeah, good luck with that. In Little Fuzzy's defense, he has died drowning in far less water than this. Exactly. Wait, what? This doesn't seem absurd to you? He's got a thing with water. What do you want me to do? You're supposed to be his leader. Have you met Rocket? Guys, do without me. We're all the Almighty Star Lord. You say something? Uh, nope. I make this jump. Let's see. There I go. What's a big ass plant doing all the way down here? The priests call it Guru, giver of light and life. In our case, I'd settle for some shelter. something up okay fine figure something else out yes! I can't believe that works half work come on it's like 50 percent less wet I'm zero percent interested all right I'm on it no! 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 we must have missed one Easy, 
doing to me? We'll figure it out. Actually, kind of refreshing. Like a quick shower. What do you say, Rocket? I ain't ever showered either, and I ain't gonna start Ew, now. Can you shower? Hey, Groot, can you get me up there? He's on his way. Just tell him how high. Hey, if I jump, you can catch me, right? Guess we'll find out. That's not very reassuring. Just don't screw up the jump. <laughs> Gonna need some help up. Yeah, what right there. What would you there. do with that? Let's do this. <laughs> Why don't we just leave him behind? Focus on saving Drax. He'll still be here on the way back, and if he isn't, we would never go for that. Too bad you don't have these sweet guns, Rocket. Keep it up and I'll swipe them in your sleep. Thanks, John Peter. Oh, uh, thanks. All right, uh, good. Come in. Huh? Thanks. What's your hurry? What? I told you to go before we left the ship! Let my rocket go! Huh? Moses! Are we supposed to know who that is? Or the seas guy? Oh, with the tentacles, right? What? No! Anyway, thanks, Quill. Really. I was pretty sure you had tentacles. What do you say, Groot? Now that we got the whole team together? Absolutely. A dry rocket is a happy rocket. This is you happy? Oh, yes. You should see some of the dark versions of Little Fuzzy. Or maybe you shouldn't. You really, really shouldn't. This crab corridor ring any bells, Mantis? Pretty sure this is the wet part. Oh, what now? What's I thought we just here? did the wet part. Somebody. Oh, it gets worse. Much worse. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Everyone okay? I'd be seeing stars if I could see anything at all. Yeah, this ain't good. So, about all them futures where we die. Has he always been able to do that? He says he don't like showing off. Thanks, buddy. No, I don't gotta tell him. Ooh, right. The thing that you tell us in the dark. All right. It's really important. No, it ain't! Shut up! What did I just say? Oh, Little Fuzzy, you'll feel better if you let it all go. You're among friends, Rocket. It's nothing, okay? Just... The lab I was in did tests on me in tubes of water. And it sucked. It really, really sucked. Sensory deprivation experiments on Half-World. I heard of those. Sensory deprivation was like a vacation compared to the other things. And that's why you hate getting wet. Mark. I had no idea. Don't make a big deal out of it. Just prefer to keep dry as all. Fucking visor. It ain't a flashlight, Quill. Remember back in the dark in the quarantine zone? I thought that was some funky energy thing. Funky energy in the dark. Groot's bioluminescence ain't exactly on the defined light spectrum. So how long do we gotta wander around smashing our shins on rocks? Imagine it's a metaphor. You're in the physical darkness, and that reflects Green Meanie's mind. We can double back along Groot's path, and then try to find the exit. Groot says stay close to him. At least you'll be able to see. Oh, sir. You sure that's the right way, Peter? I'm sure oh, that it's not, box. but let's not tell Star Guy. He needs to learn for himself. I can hear you! Even better! It's here. Oh, for group. Alien alienation conquest suit.
Why do I have to I like this one. It still, still looks badass. Never. Anyone else getting really fed up with Little Miss Cryptic? Pretty? <laughs> Give me a break. Who is here? At least it seems less dark through here and less wet. Works for me. Mantis, anything in particular we should be looking out for? I'm trying to remember. I think this is where it gets loopy. Oh, uh, there's that creepy fog again. Again? It's always here. Always. Until it isn't. What's that supposed to? Shh. I don't. More Hellraisers. Wait, yeah. But it ain't those Flarknards. It's them creepy eyeball things from the QZ. I'm definitely hearing Hellraisers. Then you ain't hearing right. It's eyeball things. I can't tell. It's not clear. Well, it's clear to me. These ears don't lie, lady. I think I can tell the difference between Lady Hellbender's minions and some giant bugs. More's gotta be right. We already know Hellbender's goons tracked us here. What do you know? Hellraisers. I know what I heard. has a mind of its own. Not mind. Force. Can we go back? Anyone else getting deja vu? Uh, it all looks the same with this fog. Well, it don't sound the same. It's them jelly things from Seknar. That explains Stumpy's cousin. No, it's Novacorp. I hear voices. How can you not tell the difference between monsters and people? It's not that. We're clearly hearing different things. All I hear is noise. Too much noise. Yeah, jelly noise. Shh. What do you mean, shh? Your guy's right. Shh. Right about what? Shh. There's a new way out. So it was nothing. I think it depends. It's got something to do with the freaky fog. Every time you name an enemy, it has the power to make that enemy appear. So the key all along was to keep quiet? Yeah, like that was ever gonna happen. I saw so many versions of us fighting so many different things, but the source, it's not done with us yet, Guardian. Yeah, well, let's just keep our eyes open and our mouths shut from now on. The fog entity has retreated for now. There's no immediate risk. Yeah, no offense, bug lady, but nothing you say means anything anymore. So the fog is an entity now? Yes! Sort of. Ugh. Don't be frustrated, little fuzzy. We're all still alive. That's get super positive. rare! Obviously, if some fog monster's trying to kill us, it means we're getting closer to whatever it is we're looking for. That kind of makes sense. And if this fog monster can make bad things appear, maybe the opposite is true. Like, if we all say cure tracks, maybe that's what we've been looking for the whole time. I wish, Star Guy, but no. The one time she gives a definite answer. Just like that! In one possible timeline, we all get smushed. Great! <laughs> Making progress here. Let me guess. Further down. Only if you want to save Drax and the whole galaxy. Let me get back to you. <laughs> okay. One last time. It's fine. I don't remember this part. Okay. 
Okay. Look, guys, um, <clears throat> I appreciate what you all did for me back there with the water thing. Um, but following the bug lady any deeper is officially stupid. Rocket. No. Fog monsters? Cave pigs? Wet waterfalls? Technically, all water... No! No, Quill. She doesn't know where we are. She doesn't know where we're going. She doesn't know what we're looking for. Mantis, are we hot or cold? Room temperature. Okay, okay. This is crazy. He is probably crazy. It's not about her. It's about us. I am super proud of us. Because we've never gone this far for anything before. Oh, this is the one where you inspire them. Just think about who we were when we started. Um, well, you were a two-bit broke pirate who couldn't even outrun a tree. Exactly. And you were a two-bit bounty hunter. Just as broke as me. Just as depraved, self-centered, mindlessly chasing every unit, bar, contract, bank to rob. I still like many of those things. So do I. But none of those things are why we're here now, right? You're down here kicking ass for Drax. Not Drax the Destroyer, not Drax the Rampage Criminal. He's, he's saying the Drax, names, man. No, I'm Friend. Oh, Gamora. You've gone to the ends of the galaxy to hunt people, to hurt people. To get revenge in what I can only assume are some excruciatingly painful ways. But doesn't this feel kind of good? Going this far to help someone you care about? And Groot. Yeah, it says you don't have to. No, no, I do. Because we all need to learn something from you. And Gamar, Quincy, right you now. never complain. Or if you do, I don't catch it. But I, I, I'm pretty sure you probably definitely don't. You're always there for us. And that's what this is about. Us. Growing together as a team. Following a crazy lady into a death cave because one of us needs help. All right, Peter. Because we are a team. Help, we're a family. We're the fucking guardians of the galaxy! Yay! Really great speech, Will. No, Why didn't better. anyone stop me? You're on such a roll! It really was one of your better speeches. Like these guys. Hit on a quibble! Find a way to find the statue, Java! The evil must be stopped from within! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Someone about the statue! Seriously, 
Seriously, Rocket! You need to blast it from the inside! Please, Rocket! No! I'd rather not die drowning! What about not dying? You have to be an option here! I'm sorry, okay? I just can't! What's next, Peter? Peter! Friend needed fear. help. Bunch of them. Rocket, man. Yeah, yeah. Can we please just save Drax already? Warm? Very, very warm. I think she wants us to jump in the hole. I may not know what we're looking for, but I know it's down there. Okay, let's finish this, because I sure as flock didn't get all wet for nothing. We need to hurry! I can feel the Matriarch's flies getting bolder in Green Meanie's mind! Hear that, Cole? Your kid's getting stronger! Oh yes! This is the place! I was pretty sure we'd find it somewhere down here. Now you know what we're looking for? Something sad and sulking, licking lingering wounds. <laughs> if it's here. She's totally gonna feed us to something awful down here. I know it. Should we expect a fight? Probably. You guys aren't very good at the whole de-escalation thing. You're kidding. Even with our prize negotiator over here? In a very small, fractured universe, Star Guy ends up being as charming as he thinks he is. It doesn't matter what's down here. If it can bring us back our grumpy Catathian, I'm all in. And the rest of you should be too. Come on, guys. We're the freaking guardians of the galaxy. Um, is that supposed to be me? I heard you make that speech so many times. And then Gamora says something like, We're here. Home of the healing light. Source of the cure. Origin of Raker's power. It's... A cocoon? Told you she was gonna feed us to some giant bug. Or maybe she's the bug, and that's some kind of external digestion sack or something. <laughs> you realize this is weird, right? Oh, it gets weirder. That's what we're going. What the... Oh, gross! Please tell me Drax is the only one who's got to go in that creepy egg sack. So the shepherds found fresh flock. Foolish followers. Seek fast, beard butt. 
What? What? Father. You know not the gravity of your treacherous trespass. Cannot quell a god. <laughs> Prepare for oblivion, interloper. Oh, what's this one? Okay, Green Meanie, you're up. <sighs> Found you. Nasty uglies from that busted noggin of yours. It's okay, guys. It's him. Aaron Witchcraft. No. Wait. Aiden Warsock. Ashley Warsock. Adam Warlock? That's it! The Golden God guy! Hold on. This guy's Raker's old divine whatever? Looks pretty good for a dead guy. Were you not sent by the sanctimonious shepherd? Us? With Raker? Not a chance. We're trying to shut his ass down. See? Friends. Okay, big guy. And we go. Come on! All the ones where we die already happened. Is it friendly? Stop fighting us. I was thinking it was like... It's actually giving off on him. Oh. But, uh, doing it. Raker's got half the galaxy going cuckoo bananas, her friend included. I swapped your ass for a newer, younger, blue-skinned model. So, can you help us? Mantis seems to think you can cure Drax. My heavenly healing is veiled malignance. A first folly I swore never to repeat. Ugh, can someone translate this guy? He said no. What protection I can proffer is to remain reclusive. Not this time, Goldie. The pieces need to go back together. We just gotta get you all closer to the puzzle. And that would be... In here, of course. Whoa, wait, let, let's talk about... What the butt? It's like the beginning of Space Odyssey. Welcome to the Astral Plains, Snorlord. Teleported us? Oh, no. You're still comfy cozy with me. I just merged your minds. Merged our what? I gave no consent to this, Planescaper. She's not big on asking permission. It's all pretty sure this and fate of the galaxy that. Don't you get huffy, god guy. Your gold hands are all over this mess. What's that supposed to mean? I thought this guy was how we cure Drax. Cure and cause can coalesce. Uh, guys? Our minds are merged together. Is that Drax? Oh my god. So we're going into Drax's head. Oh, it's a big, big Literally. Forward. Green Meanie's in there somewhere. Find him and convince him to come back to reality. Now we gotta find Drax in own mind. Mantis, please tell me we're supposed to be going into the bright light. Pretty sure. You need to reach the heart of Drax's promise. Much deeper than I've ever seen. Wait, if you've never seen it, does that mean it never happens? Hope not. Just keep going. And if we lose contact, listen to Amy Winsaw. She means you. Quite clearly, 